Hello and welcome to Toto TCG. You are here with me, Matthew, and we are back here with another Pokemon news update. Now, of course, we are talking part two of Explosive Impact. So if you haven't already checked out yesterday, yesterday we checked out all the grass to psychic Pokemon. Today we're going to be checking out quite a bit. We're going to be checking out from the fighting to the trainers to the secret rares to the trainers to the gold cards. That's what we're going to be having a look at today. So prepare, get strapped in, get your popcorn, because this is going to be an extremely long, extremely awesome video with several awesome looking cards. So without further ado, let's go over and start checking them out. Okay, so let's crack on. Let's carry on from where we finished off. We finished off with all the psychic types. Now we are starting off with the fighting types. So we're going to do this up until the rest of the supporters. Then we're going to check out all of the full arts and secret rares for the Pokemon and also the gold cards. So a nice big portion of the stuff to talk through right now. So let's start with the first one up, which is Sudowoodo right here. Very simplistic artwork. Like these sort of like sort of uh, almost like sound things projecting sound out from where his head and his uh, palms are. Very, very interesting indeed. Looks really, really cool. What does it do? One fighting. Hit harder. Uh, 20 plus damage. If this Pokemon was your active Pokemon and was damaged by an attack during your opponent's last turn, this attack does 80 more damage. So it can do 100 for just one fighting. But yes, it has to try and uh, avoid getting KO'd with 110 HP. So, you know, not bad. It's not bad, but it's pretty cool how it could possibly hit 100 for one fighting. We are also getting a knitted fancy right here. Very interesting looking one here. For one fighting in the colour, so we've got last resort. 50 damage, flip a coin. If Tails' attack does nothing, eh, could be better. That then evolves into a Don fan, which is right here. Uh, so the ability Sturdy, I know what this does from the games. If this Pokemon has full HP and would be knocked out by damage from an attack, this Pokemon is not knocked out and its remaining HP becomes 10 instead. So a very good way in which of keeping the Pokemon alive. However, it does say if this Pokemon has full HP. So I'm guessing if it had 20 HP on it from maybe a flying flip, this thing would not ha happen because it wouldn't have full HP. It would, yes, it might get knocked out. So this thing wouldn't happen. The fact that it actually has this Pokemon has full HP. If it just said if this Pokemon would be knocked out, then yes, any time, any place, it'd be fine. So uh, definitely one to look out for, but a pretty cool one that the fact that you can possibly keep it alive if its HP is all good. And then for fighting in double colours, we got rolling spin for 70 damage. During your next turn, this Pokemon's rolling spin attack does 70 more damage. So it does 70, then 140. That is pretty nice. We are also getting a awesome looking Hitmontop. It has to be said, looks absolutely insane. Been a long time since I've seen a Hitmontop, very much so. Uh, so for one fighting, rapid spin, 30 damage, switch this Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon, then your opponent switches their active Pokemon with one of their benched. Sort of like your opponent's Guzma, let's just put it that way, you have to switch, then your opponent switches. Um, but there we go, pretty nice, you don't get to choose either, your opponent has to do it. And then for three colourless, we've got triple kick, flip three coins, this attack does 40 damage times the number of heads. Pretty self-explanatory, very much luck based, and it only has a HP of 80, which is a little bit annoying. We have got this, I absolutely love this, a Lavatar right here, who's playing with sand. It's made a castle, but it's also made a Pupitar and a Tyranitar. That is so cool. I love this artwork so much. It's such a shame that it's not the better of the two cards. Uh, the fact that it's only got uh, 50 HP, probably not a lot of people are going to use it. However... Ability Submerge. If this Pokemon is on your bench, it takes no damage from attacks. So that is very good, actually. And to be honest, I don't care if it's even got HP of 50. The fact that it's got this and it stops the attacks going to the bench, very nice indeed. I just love that artwork so much. And one colours for Bite, which is 10 damage. Uh, then we've got the other Lavatar here. We do have a different artwork right here. I have to say, I mean... I Please guys like like look at the difference this one. It's cute It's awesome that it's actually got these in sand form and this one is just jumping off a cliff like come on <laughs> What's going on? Um, double colors for second strike 10 plus damage if your opponent's active Pokemon has three or more damage counters 
on it, this attack does 70 more damage. So, yes, it could be, you know, okay. But I would definitely want to try and get this one more than the other one. Of course, we then also have... Um, <laughs> seriously about to say that then. Pupita. <laughs> we do have a Pupita. It's a clay, uh, clay version of it in real life. Love these cards. Ability Bullet Evolution. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may choose to have any damage done to this Pokemon by your opponent's attacks reduced by 50 until the end of your opponent's next turn. So very cool, especially if this one is in the active. Um, probably if you were to... Maybe it does say evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn. You may choose to have any damage done to this Pokemon. Yeah, so that Pokemon in, partic in particular. So if this one is in your active, you can say, okay, I'm going to take 50 less. Done. That's only when you evolve it, but it's pretty cool. And then for three colorless, yikes, we've got Hammer in for 30 damage. That is nowhere near good. You definitely want to get a rare candy on that thing very, very quickly. Moving on from that, we do have an Alolan Meowth right here. A very interesting artwork indeed. like this one a lot. Nice animated type one. Uh, we've got some uh, literally at a beach. There's like a beach hut in the background. Very nice artwork indeed. Free attack for Spoil Sport. 10 plus damage. If you go second on your first turn, this attack does 60 more damage. So it could do 70 on your first turn when you go second. So that could possibly KO an instant Rockruff, Zorua, that sort of thing. And for a free attack, that's not bad. Apart from that, though, it would just do 10 damage. So that would be a bit of a bummer. Um, we've also got an Alolan Persian right here, which, of course, does evolve from the Meowth. Uh, so for an another free attack, we've got Bluff. 90 minus damage. This attack's damage is reduced by 30 for each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. So if they've got three on there, that is 90 completely gone. If they've got none on there, it's 90. So, eh, eh. Could be better, but it could be worse. Uh, we are also getting an Umbreon in the set, which is right here. So, uh, for one dark, we've got... R How the heck do you say that? Ret oh, it's Retaliate. Okay, well done. I know English. Retaliate, 30 plus damage. If one of your Pokemon was knocked out by damage from uh, an opponent's attack during your, last, your opponent's last turn, this attack does 90 more damage. So it could do 120 for one dark, if... One of your Pokemon was knocked out. That's pretty cool. For a Dark and a Colorless, we got Dark Cutter for 60 damage. But I definitely think you want to be playing maybe one of these just to try and get that off. The Retaliate thing would just be insane to do 120 for just one Dark. Yes, please. Very, very cool. We have already gone over Tyranitar GX. We don't need to go over that again. Moving on to just the two Steel types here. We've got a Fortress right here, which does obviously evolve from the Pinaco, which we saw uh, yesterday. So for one method, we've got Spike Thrust. Flip three coins. This attack does 10 damage for each of your opponent's Pokemon times the number of heads. Wait a second. Flip three coins. This attack does 10 damage to e Oh, right. To each of your opponent's Pokemon times the number of heads. So if you get three, you do 30 to everything. If you do two, 20 to everything, etc. Okay, that's... Uh, I guess that's pretty cool. Um, obviously, if you do just roll three tails, then... Oh well, you're not doing anything. But, you know, you've got to run the risk and possibly get a nice reward. Uh, two Metal and a Colors for Last Bomber. Or Lost Bomber, sorry. 190 damage. Put this Pokemon and all cards attached to it into the Lost Zone. Right. That's, uh, that's pretty interesting. So you power this up. You do the 190 damage. Of course, with a Choice Band, you'd be doing 220. Uh, put this Pokemon on all cards. And you're also giving more Pokemon into the Lost Zone, which is already a very, very cool. So that's... That's not bad. That is definitely not bad. We are also getting another Sizzle. I have to say I love this artwork. It will be a hollow in the set as well. Very, very cool. Ability Exoskeleton. This Pokemon takes 30 less damage from attacks. Exactly like the GX. Um, or, sorry, I shouldn't say that. It's not an ability on the GX. You have to do the move, which would you, you do 80 damage, and then you take 30 from your opponent, or you take 30 less from your opponent's attacks. Of course, if you put a Metal Frying Pan on there, Happy days, that's 60 less and you have no weaknesses, which is really, really cool. Then for a Metal and a Colorless, we've got Special Blow for 60 damage. If your opponent's active Pokemon has any special energy attached to it, this attack does 70 more damage. So you could be doing 140 damage for two energies because your opponent likes DCE. They like Rainbow Energy. They like Unit Energy. It's your opponent's fault. 
but you can definitely do something about that. So, in my opinion, I would probably, if you, I've run a Sizzle deck, I'll put my hand up and I've said I've run a Sizzle GX deck, and it goes, it goes so far before it sort of fails. But this thing could be an interesting one, so I don't know whether I'd possibly think of doing three and then one of these, just so you've got that sort of counter to special energies. You, I Obviously, you run uh, three Scythers. Re whether you run a 2-2 two -two of the different Scythers, we've got two in this set and two in the previous set, so who knows. Anyway, moving on from Sizzle, before I talk so much about the deck that my mind implodes, uh, let's move on to the Fairy types here. So first off, we've got this awesome looking Maril. We've got some water background going on, very simplistic looking Maril, sort of jumping towards as if his arms are out, like, catch me, cuddle me, I'm lovely. There he is right there. Uh, so Fairy and a Colorless for Magical Shot for 30 damage. And then that does evolve into a very interesting looking uh, Mar... <laughs> Azur uh, sorry, Azuril Mill. I can't even say it. Azumaril card, Azumaril. Uh, I don't know what he's staring into, either it's cider or something else. But uh, he's having a little look, he's probably lost his keys or something. Um, he's <laughs> it just looks so odd. Although I do have to say I like the artwork, it does look really, really cool. So for one fairy, we got Droplet Search. Search, uh, sorry, look at the top eight cards of your deck, choose any number of energy cards you find there, and attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like. Then shuffle the remaining cards into your deck. Very, very good card to start speed up fairy type decks. Very good indeed. Although it does leave you very vulnerable uh, to your opponent taking a one prize uh, KO. We do also have a <laughs> weird looking schnubble going through some sort of purpley blue flowers here. Um, he's got one on his head. Looks crazy. Crazy, crazy. So for one fairy, we've got 20 times damage. Discard up to two trainer cards from your hand. This attack does 20 damage for each card discarded. Uh, yeah, each card discarded. It has to be a trainer card, though. If not, it's only going to be uh, doing nothing, basically. So it can do 20 or 40 or nothing. Pretty simple. But uh, that then evolves into a grand ball, which looks insane. You go from this pathetic thing walking through a, for a forest, uh, a field... To this thing. Oh, yeah, that's what we're talking about. So, for one fairy, we've got Dead Broke, 30 damage. Uh, if this, uh, sorry, if you have no cards in your hand, this card does 130 more damage. You can do 160 if you have no cards in hand. How can you do that? Well, there's no Sycamore, let's just put it that way. So we can't exactly just dump a load of cards, but you'd be drawing into seven anyway. So you'd have to have a very small hand size to be able to do this nice 160 damage. For just one fairy, that is pretty cool. Very, very cool indeed. For three fairy as well, we've got Dryant Fang for 110. Although if you can get this thing going, that's even better than this. So yeah, you'd have to try and work something out, but who knows? It could happen. It could definitely happen. Uh, we've got a Chansey here. Love this artwork so much. We've got a little uh, Clefairy. Yeah, that's a Clefairy doll. And there's... I can't think what this thing is called, but people have said about it, and it's sort of like a... It's not a glitch, but some people have put it in as their active Pokemon in sort of online VG games or video games uh, during the Pokemon thing. I just can't think what it's called. Someone will probably let me know. But very cool one, nevertheless. So for one colour, we've got Healing... Pyro pyroette, pyroette. I think heal twenty damage from each of your Pokemon. Meh. Three colors for kind slap. A hundred damage if your opponent's active Pokemon has any damage counters on it. This attack does nothing. Wow. Okay. So you're being kind by not slapping it if it's uh, about to die. Wow. Nice one, Chansey. Blissey will be a hollow. This artwork looks insane. It's literally been launched up into the galaxy. You've got a moon in the background. Awesome looking hollow. Definitely a very interesting one. Is it a good card? Ability. Blissful Supply. Once during your turn, you may remove one special condition from your active Pokemon. It could be interesting. Let's just put it that way. Could be an interesting one. Then for three colours, we've got Powerful Slap instead of Kind Slap. 80 times damage. Flip a coin for each energy attached to this Pokemon. So that would be three, possibly more. 
This attack does 80 damage times the number of heads. Uh, hello? What's going on here? Three of these, you've managed, managed to get three heads. Okay, managed to do that, you'll be doing 240. 240 damage. You kill everything. That thing would be interesting. Very, very awesome indeed. Well, this thing wouldn't be. But I love the artwork, so I don't know. This could be worth a go pre-release. Oh, someone got this going during pre-release. Oh, you would not stop them. 160 there. You could even actually throw bodybuilding dumbbells on that. Put it up to 200. Oh, you're talking good stuff there. Yes, it does have a weakness to fighting. Weakness policy is there. Use it. Use it. Buzzwall will eat you. Just put it on there and kill Buzzwall. Um, to be honest, actually, you don't even need to get two heads and a choice band to even be able to knock out the Buzzwall. So, I mean, hello? Obviously, I'm talking maybe Renner McGinn are on the bench with the ability of, uh, was it change clothes? Sorted. Everything's good. Right, so... <clears throat> we have got ourselves Eevee. Is it any good? No, it's not. One colours for Gnaw, 20 damage. No, 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 no. We want the Energy Evolution one. We want that one to stay. We need that Eevee to come back very, very quickly. So this one is definitely not there. It is there, of course, for the Umbreon and Esprion uh, Evolve sake, but uh, no, no, leave it, leave it. We don't want it. We do also get a Stantler. Very interesting. I haven't seen this card... Uh, uh, at all, I'd like to say. Uh, so for one colour, so we've got Mystifying Horns. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. And then for two colours, so we've got Enhanced Horns. 20 damage. If this Pokemon has a tool card attached, this attack does 60 more damage. So it would be doing 80 for just a double colour. Let's put a choice band on there, 110. That's not bad. It wouldn't be getting any weaknesses on anything, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's interesting nevertheless. We are getting a Smeargle, which has a very interesting artwork indeed. Very, uh, very unique. Very cool. So for one colour, we've got Perfect Likeness. Your opponent reveals their hand, choose a support you find there, and use its effects as the effect of this attack. Boom. That is very, very nice indeed. So, for example, you could do several things. Several things indeed. You could maybe go for a Cynthia. You could go for a Sightseer. If people are playing Sightseer, that could be a very interesting one. If, uh, if you remember what Sightseer is, you can discard so many cards from your, your hand, if not the whole hand, and I think it's draw six or seven cards. So that could be pretty interesting. <clears throat> very, very interesting. Uh, one colorless here for Tail Smash. 30 damage. Flip a coin if Tail does nothing. Probably going to be playing it for that perfect likeness. That would be very interesting. <coughs> uh, we've got this mill tank coming out in the set. Very interesting one. We've got this girl in the background here. We'll get on to who she is. Uh, I didn't know this was her sort of like partner Pokemon. But uh, yeah, very interesting mill tank. Breaking through something there at a very high speed. Obviously looking for his Moomoo Milk. Milk Cannon for three colorless. You may reveal any number of Moomoo Milk cards from your hand to your opponent. This attack does 60 damage for each card revealed. What is Moo Moo Milk? We'll get on to that. Do not worry. We have also got a Lugia GX here, which we have already gone over, so we don't need to go through that again. We've got a Picky Peck here. Very interesting one. So for one colour, so we've got Peck Off. 10 damage. Before doing damage, discard all Pokemon tool cards attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. That's not bad. And then another Picky Peck for 10 more HP. Looks, uh, looks pretty cool. One colourless for send back. Your opponent switches their active Pokemon with one of their benched. And then for two colours, we got Peck for 20 damage. Meh. Then that evolves into a Trumbeak. Has that sort of Shadow Ball ability thing. <clears throat> ability here, Mountain Ferry. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon is in your hand, you may place it into the Lost Zone. Literally, it's in your hand. You just go, okay, Lost Zone, happy days. If you do, look at the top card of your opponent's deck, then return it to the top of your opponent's deck. If that card is a supporter, put it into the Lost Zone instead. Very interesting. Very, very interesting, because we've got several things that rely on the Lost March deck. We've got an Unknown, which relies on supporters being the discard pile. This thing could help speed it up. So, yeah, could be an interesting one. Double colours for Peck 30, although I don't see this being a thing. You just want to use it for the ability to help with Night March. Uh, sorry, Lost March. Wrong one. Lo uh, Night March. I'm getting confused again. Night March. 
No, it's not. It's Lost March. I'm getting confused. Ah, what am I doing? Ah, sort my life out. And then the last one, uh, last Pokemon at least, is two cannon right here, sort of in an icy sort of world here. Uh, so for one colour, so we've got Heat Beak. Heat Beak. 40 damage. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now burned. And then for three colours, so we've got Huge Cannon. Not two cannon. Huge Cannon. 160 damage. If this Pokemon evolved during your turn, this attack does nothing. Oh! That is not nice. Wow. So this thing has to be evolved. Have its turn. Then you can use Huge Cannon. Then you can just crack on and use Huge Cannon. Could be interesting. Now we move on to the trainer card. So first one up we have is this thing right here. React Hammer. Not Enhanced. Not Crushing. React Hammer. What does it do? So this card can only be used by the player going second on their first turn. On their first turn. Discard an energy from one of your opponent's Pokemon in play. That's all it does. That's all it does. D is this even worth playing? Yes, just one. Just put one in your deck. If you can get this on your first turn, bearing in mind you could Cynthia, possibly look for some item cards, who knows. But if you can get this going, smack the energy off, at least you're sort of stalling your opponent for their second turn when you give it back to them. But that's it. Do not run four of these. There's no point. You'd be wasting time in your deck. If not, just run none. Just don't run any. If this thing said discard an energy, whoo! Yes, play four of them. Do it. That's what we want. But not four when you're going on your... You have to be going second. You have to say you're going second on your first turn. No. No. <laughs> you don't run four. You just don't. Uh, we've also got Ultra Ball getting reprinted in Japanese. We've got Rare Candy, Switch, Pokemon Catcher. Here it is. We got some Moo Moo Milk. So, of course, this does come from Mill Tank. What does it do? Choose one of your Pokemon. Flip two coins for each heads. Heal 30 damage from that Pokemon for Moo Moo Milk. Yeah, Moo Moo Milk. How's it going? So, yeah. Moo Moo Milk. Probably not the best uh, trainer card, but the fact that it can help your mill tank get some serious damage going is very nice. Then we have got this thing right here, Lost Mixer. Put two cards from your hand in the Lost Zone, then draw one card from your deck. If you can't put two cards from your hand into the Lost Zone, this card can't be played. So the fact that you could just say, oh, I've got two Pokemon in my uh, <laughs> hand, Lost Mixer, put the two Pokemon in there. More for your Lost March deck. Very nice. So it could be an interesting one. So we've got Choice Band here. Reprint, so we probably won't see that. But we do also have this thing right here, which is Choice Helmet. Please tell me it adds stuff. I'd be sadly mistaken. Of course, it is a Pokemon tool, so it has to be attached to the Pokemon. The Pokemon this card is attached to takes 30 less damage from your attacks of your opponent's Pokemon GX and EX. Oh boy. Okay, so you have to be getting attacked by a GX or an EX. <sighs> Just run Choice Band. Don't bother with the helmet. What happens if they don't run a GX? And this thing becomes absolutely stupid and nothing happens. Just run Choice Band. Just run Choice Band, please. Everything will work out fine. We do have a Fairy Charm coming out with the Grass, which obviously means that as soon as we're getting this one, we've got the Fairy Charms coming out in Fairy Rise. It's obviously more evidence, even though it's been confirmed, but it's just more evidence to make sure that all three of these sets will be coming out together. You can't just put Fairy Charm Grass out and be like, ha you wanted those Fairy types? You're not having them. So yeah, we will be getting all three sets together, so there's no need to worry about that. Now... Two thing, actually, sorry, three supporters now coming up that I really do like, and I personally really do like all three of these. First one up we have is Whitney right here. Very, very interesting one. Now this was the the girl you saw in the background of the mill tank. So what does she do? Right now, bear with me here. Draw one card. Okay, that sounds that sounds bad, but draw an additional two cards for each Whitney in your discard pile. Okay, so. This is where I see this thing being pretty interesting. You play four Whitney, okay? So first turn, you maybe just draw one, but you've put one in there. Second turn, you get another Whitney, you draw three, you get another one in there. Third Whitney, five. 
four Whitneys, you're drawing seven cards. Boom. That's why I like this card. Now, of course, who wants to draw just one card? So that's where I'm thinking. You try and get as many Whitneys in your hand as possible. You ultra ball them away. Now, I say that because you want them all in the discard pile to be able to get those seven cards from a, a turn coming up. So you get as many in there as possible, then you use Whitney. Now, yes, you put all four of them in the discard pile. What are you supposed to do then? Well, hopefully you'd be running other supporters like Cynthia, maybe Tate and Lisa just for that switch. Maybe even this draw support as well. You get your pal pad, you bring back one Whitney and maybe one Cynthia, for example. That way you're leaving three in the discard pile, which then allows you to obviously get more access to the seven again. That is why I like this thing. You play Pal Pad with Whitney, and you can carry on doing that. Yes, it's a bit clunky. Yes, you do rely on the Whitney being in there, but it's a bit of fun. And that's what I'm all about with Pokemon. I don't want to play it just to win. I want to play it to have fun. Whitney is fun. I like it. Now, guys, uh, you missed Bridget? <laughs> say hello to the Bridget replacement. And say hello to possibly my favourite card from this set. It's got Totodial on it. <laughs> I'm so happy. Um, so we got Professor Elm's Lecture. What does it do? Search your deck for up to three Pokemon with 60 HP or less. Reveal them, put them into your hand, and shuffle your deck. Good hello. Good hello. Goodbye to Bridget. Hello to Professor Elm's Lecture. So, bearing in mind, this allows you to get Rockruffs, Zor uh, Zorowas, plenty of, uh, of uh, basic Pokemon with 60 HP or less can come out because of Professor Elm. So, you know, your Pokemon fan clubs, get rid of them. Get rid of them. Unless, for example, you do want GXs, fair enough, pref play that. Play that. Or maybe you want to play it to maybe do uh, Apricorn Maker. Play that. But Professor Elm, I think, is going to be a big staple when this card comes out. Very, very interesting indeed. Now, finally, we are getting Faber. Oh my gosh, we are finally getting a Faber. What does Faber do? Choose one of your opponent's Pokemon tool cards, special energy cards, or stadiums in play, and put it in the loss zone. <laughs> tool cards, special energy, or stadiums. Going into the loss zone, they are not coming out. Faber is a beast. Absolutely a beast. Now, you just play this for total disruption. Totally disruption. Everyone's going to have tool cards. Everyone's going to have a stadium. And most people are going to have special energy. At least some of those are going to happen. The fact that you're getting rid of them is going to be such a disruption. Oh, it's going to be amazing. There's nothing in this set so far that has stuff that allows you to get stuff out of the Lost Zone. You can by all means shove stuff in there, but no way can you get it out of there. It's going to be such a disruption. So we've got a reprint of How, reprint of Lily. We've obviously talked about the Lucimine Prism Star and the Heat Factory Prism Star. DCE reprint, although I don't think it's going to be coming out in our set. And then we're also getting this card right here, which is called Memory Energy. Although I love that DNA strand, and I so, so wish that this was a gold card. Spoilers. This card provides colourless energy. The Pokemon this card is attached to can use the attacks of its previous evolutions. Oh boy, that could be very interesting indeed. There are several Pokemon that do have very interesting moves from their previous counterparts. The fact that you can put this on there, it is colourless, okay? It is just colourless, so you'd have to make sure it was like, you know, if the Pokemon has water, water, colourless, the colourless has to be this. It just has to be. It is a special energy, so Enhanced Hammer and Field... Uh, not Field Blow, sorry. Enhanced Hammer would get rid of this. Faber would get rid of this. Uh, but it's worth a shot to be able to possibly do some interesting stuff with previous evolutions. There's such things where it allows you to attack for how much damage you have on the Pokemon. Well, you know, if you've got a stage one in play with a possible tr uh, bodybuilding dumbbells, you've got a lot of HP there, you're going to be giving back a lot of damage because of memory energy. So it could be a very interesting one to see. Definitely very interesting indeed. But apart from that, very long episode, to be honest, for just half the rest of the set. But we've not finished. We've still got to have a look at the Full Arts, the Rainbow Rares, the Full Art Trainers, and, of course, the Gold Cards, and finish the episode off. So without further ado, we're going to head over there now and check out all of that. So let's go over 
and check it all out. Okay, so with all the cards now explored and checked out, we can now finish off the rest of Explosive Impact by checking out the rest of the cards. So, we've obviously checked out all the GXs, although we haven't seen the Full Art and Rainbow Rares. I now have those pictures. There are three Full Art Trainers and two Gold Cards. So, let's start off. We do have Shuckle GX to start things off. So, the Full Art for Shuckle looks a little bit like that. Very interesting, sort of almost like a bird's eye view of Shuckle from a sort of slant, but bird's eye view nevertheless, looking uh, pretty interesting. And of course the Rainbow Red does look pretty similar. Nice vortex, like a leafy vortex almost, going around in a sort of like spiral. Very, very interesting indeed. <clears throat> gonna, uh, gonna definitely be a card that I'm going to be looking for just for a bit of fun. But pretty cool nevertheless. Moving on, we have Blacephalon GX. Very interesting full art here. You can see the whole thing. Very thin looking Pokemon, but awesome looking nevertheless. Very, very nice indeed. Nice full art. Again, spirally sort of almost portal design going on in the background. Very, very cool. And of course, the Rainbow Rare as well. Sort of dotted as well. Love that, how it sort of complements the sort of face. The ball on its head, at least its face head. Let's just put it that way. But uh, yeah, very, very nice indeed. Nice one as well. Moving on to Suicune, we have the full art right there. Very nice, sort of shattered effect in the background, looking off to the side. Ribbons are there, the headpiece like flowing in the wind. Looks very, very cool. And the Rainbow Rare is there. Very nice how it's got, <clears throat> again, it's very ribbony. It's sort of like a wavy ribbon going upwards to the right or downwards to the left, let's put it that way. Uh, but really cool. I like it a lot. Really nice. Moving on, we got Tyranitar looking extremely evil and menacing in this one. Very, very cool. Background is very shattered again, but love that. You can see the whole thing there. Really angry, annoyed Tyranitar. Love it a lot. And then the Rainbow Rare as well. Uh, weird looking background. Almost looks like a bit of a carpet in the background. <laughs> looks like a carpet. But uh, again, like I said, really, really interesting. Another one I'm going to be looking for really nice indeed and the last one of course is Lugia full art looks insane absolutely amazing they released this a while back but uh, oh it looks brilliant absolutely fantastic and the rainbow air as well insane again spiral design in the background but I love it so much really does look so so cool they do a really good job of the full art and rainbow airs for these insane insane job really really cool so <clears throat> let's have a little look at the Fallout Trainers. So, first one up. Boom! <clears throat> I'm dying still from a cold, unfortunately, so sorry about that. But the first one up is... I'd like to say my favourite, because I know... I know I'm probably going to collect four of these. I have a feeling. We got Whitney. Now, we've been through Whitney during this video, so I don't need to go through it again. I love this full art so much. It looks so cool. I need four of these in my life. Um, we, I've, or, uh, for example, I've got I've got four full art Mallows, four full art Lanas. We got four full art Bonnies. You guys probably know that from when I was doing the package openings. But this one is definitely going to be up there. I need to get four of these. It looks insane, absolutely insane. Another one I think probably going to be a big money card is Professor Elm's lecture. Now it would have been such a letdown if it was just Professor Elm on his own. But no, they had to go and throw the three starters in there and Totodile is on his shoulder. <sighs> love it. Absolutely love it. Definitely another one I'm going to be looking for very, very quickly. And the last one. Again, I think this one might be also a nice money card. We're getting a Fabba, which looks so cool. So, so cool. So I'm definitely going to be looking for all the full arts. I love the trainer so much. These three are definitely top priority for me. Definitely 100%. Very, very cool stuff. On to the gold cards now. So first gold card we have is Lost Mixer. Uh, of course, if you want reminding, this one allows you to get two cards from your hand and put them into the Lost Zone. So you could put two supporters, two Pokemon, for example, just to help speed up the uh, Lost March deck. Or, for example, one of the unknown decks. You never know. Could be a pretty cool one. But, uh, yeah, I like the, like the look of it. Looks just... It's, it's an interesting design, but really, really cool. It's like a handheld device with like a, a tube with like what looks like the Lost Zone held in it. So uh, very, very cool. And then, of course, probably the, the best to last, I'm hoping. No, we're getting, uh, we're getting Choice Helmet. 
Yeah, I think this is going to be the least expensive gold card. I really can't see a lot of people going for this thing. Choice Band is a lot better than this. But it is a Choice Helmet. So whether you want Choice Band and shell Choice Helmet, I don't know. But probably, in my opinion, probably going to be the uh, the weakest out of all the gold cards that we're going to be uh, getting when it comes to the English set. But there we go. So that is, that. Uh, is, I think that's it. I think that is it. Yeah. So we can move on and finish the video off. Big, big video here. Guess the GX though. Let's have a look at the answer from yesterday. So I gave you that picture right there. It was, of course, Necrozma GX. Very, very cool indeed. If you did get that, well done. And then let's move on to the guest of GX from this video. We have got that picture there, that one there, and that one right there. Let me know what that is in particular. Um, and apart from that, definitely let me know your thoughts on this set that is coming out. Explosive Impact in particular. Uh, let me know what your favourite cards is that we've discussed. Definitely in the comments below, as well as let me know your thoughts on the GX. If you're new to the channel, then subscribe, because we've got Dragon Majesty coming on the channel tomorrow. Cannot wait! Uh, but apart from that, I'm going to leave it here for this video and I'll see you guys in the next video on the channel.